Hello everybody and welcome back to the ACC YouTube channel. This is JJ once again and we're bringing you something pretty special. If you guys recently checked out our posted video for the Maximus 5 Formula motherboard, you saw in that overview that we talked about a brand new design. Uh, it's actually a patent pending design that we have for the VRM heatsink assembly and that's our brand new Fusion Thermo water block design. And what this video is actually going to be showing you is actually proof of it being implemented and actually how it works and a little bit of the basic kind of ins and outs on how to set this up and how to kind of jump into the world of water cooling. So so um, what we're going to do here is just quickly talk about a couple of the key items that we have as part of this whole setup and then from there we're actually going to just point out how we actually have it set up. So first and foremost you're going to need of course one, a Maximus 5 uh, Formula Series motherboard with the actual Fusion Thermal Water Block integrated. Two, because we've in this video we've decided to go ahead and show you not only the VRM assembly but also the CPU assembly water cooled. Uh, we've gone ahead and worked with coolants and we have a coolants 370 uh, series water block. So that's an awesome high performance CPU water block. Uh, we've got of course the included 3 8 tubing that comes included as part of coolants' uh, integrated uh, water cooling solution. And uh, to top that off, here at the very top of our chassis, we actually have Coolance's Exos uh, EX2-1055 water cooling system. So this integrates the radiator, the pump, uh, the entire water cooling system externally. So all we have to do essentially is make some quick connections of that tubing, uh, put on uh, some actual clamps and some compression fittings, and we're good to go rocking with significantly lower temperatures for our CPU and VRM. So next up, let's go ahead and take a look at it in action. Okay guys, here we've got uh, the actual system set up already. So we have the EX2-1055. So this is our fully integrated uh, water cooling system. So we don't have to worry about positioning of pump, placement, uh, radiators, anything like that. This is all fully controllable in terms of the performance of the radiator, the pump, and all the fans. Uh, so we've got flexibility in terms of tuning it uh, for very you know low profile in terms of uh, acoustic footprint. Um, or if you want high performance, high overclocking potential, then that can be all tuned. So from there, it's pretty straightforward. We've got our outlet. Uh, and our inlet. So here from our outlet, we're using the 3H tubing with the actual uh, just quick clamp that flows into here in our Antec 1100 chassis, which you see actually has quick uh, options for water cooling tubes. So we've gone ahead and connected those. Uh, we also then have the actual serial cable, which allows the radiator to make a connection uh, to the actual initialization module here that connects to our motherboard down here. So that's uh, how actually everything turns on so that when you turn on the system, the actual pump and everything turns on as well so that we have it starting as soon as our system starts up, as well as you have some other connection options there in terms of sensors and other things along those lines. Uh, we're not currently utilizing those, but that's an option as part of the EXO system, which, which is a great option. Now, from here, as uh, we were talking about, we're going from the outlet into the inlet on the coolant's 370 water block. Then from there, we're going out from the actual coolant's water block, and then we're going into the Fusion Thermo VRM assembly. So that's our patent integrated uh, VRM heatsink assembly technology, which works under air, but also works under water. So from going now to the inlet, we're then going, excuse me, down out here to the out, and then we're flowing back in to the radiator. So pretty straightforward process, not very complicated at all. Um, pretty much all you need, like I said, is the included tubing that you get uh, with, the, uh, with the coolant system. They also have smaller systems as well and modular systems if that's the option that you want to go with. And like I said, some basic clamps and then uh, the compression fittings uh, that's uh, easy connection there for the tubing. And from there, you are good to go and you're gonna have a high performance system. Uh, just to kind of give you guys some context, I was actually able with this system on our Maximus 5 formula to be able to achieve actually 4.9, even five gigahertz on a 3770K, um, full running, uh, with no issues in terms of stability, had some great temperatures, and uh, utilizing some awesome high-performance Kingston memory, I was actually able to run uh, 16 gigabytes 2133 as well there. No issues, no problems. So overall, uh, an awesome system that's water-cooled. So with that, let's go ahead and wrap things up. If you guys are interested in taking advantage of water cooling on your Maximus 5 Series Formula motherboard, uh, the things to keep in mind that you're going to need is, of course, one, an actual Maximus 5 Formula with the Fusion Thermal Water Block Assembly uh, that's integrated as part of the VRM heatsink uh, and takes advantage, of course, of our patent pending mm -hmm. design. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to need, of course, a water cooling system of some type, so that you're going to essentially need fans, a radiator, and a pump, and a reservoir. Uh, we've tapped the coolant solution because it's an outstanding option in terms of its performance, its flexibility, uh, 
and the overall installation uh, ease of use in our situation. Uh, so that's what we've gone ahead and gone with. And that's also going to go ahead and include everything that we need in terms of connectivity. And they make it very easy in terms of getting the secondary accessories that you need, like compression fittings, clamps, and adapters, and things like that. Um, now, it's not going to be required in terms of if you want to uh, do uh, CPU water cooling, but if you want to go ahead and do that, we've also gone ahead and worked with coolants and we're utilizing a CPU water block with the coolants 370 unit. Uh, and that's predominantly done that I do recommend generally matching the componentry uh, from the same vendor uh, just to ensure optimal performance and also compatibility. So with that, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, anything that you want to see or anything that you guys want to know, make sure to drop the questions here at the YouTube page. I do my best to make sure and feedback to you guys on those comments. And as always, you can also head over to Twitter or Facebook and leave us some commentary there. And if you enjoy the video, please make sure and subscribe.